Good morning, everyone. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can transfer your photos from your iPhone to your Mac. Whenever you're transferring photos from your iPhone to your Mac, you're going to be presented with two options. You can either use, or excuse me, three options. You can either use the Photos application to import your photos into there. You can also use Image Capture, and you can also use iPhoto. iPhoto is available on, on the older versions of Mac OS. In this video, what we're going to be focusing on is how to transfer the photos using Image Capture. Let's begin this tutorial. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on the icon called Spotlight. It basically resembles a magnifying glass. In this box, I'm going to type in Image Capture. Okay, so after I typed in just like first couple letters of Image Capture, it pulled up the whole thing for me. So now all I have to do is click on the Enter button and then image capture is going to open. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to look for our device that's connected. So in my case, I have a photo on my iPhone that I want to move over, so I'm going to go into the devices section and click on the device that I want to pull the photos out of. Now, if you have multiple devices connected to your computer, make sure you are uh, make sure you have activated the correct one because if you see, let's say if it shows that your iPhone's over here but then it also shows you have a digital camera connected and if you know your photos are on your iPhone, make sure you click on your iPhone. So now that I've clicked on my iPhone, the next thing that I need to do is I need to click on the picture that I want to pull out of my iPhone. Alright, so now that I have highlighted this photo, the next thing that I need to decide is where I want to place this picture after it comes out of my iPhone. Currently, the destination is set to go to the pictures folder on my Mac, but because this is just a tutorial, I'm going to transfer the photo over to my desktop so I can easily just send it into my recycle bin and delete this photo because it's not important to me. So I'm going to click on pictures, and then from there I'm going to click on desktop because that is where I want my picture to go. Now, as you can see, there are two buttons here. One of them says import, and the other one that says import all. The difference between these two buttons is that is let's say if you have more than one photo in this area over here and if you wanted to take all of those photos and put them in a particular area, you will click on import all. But because we are working with only one photo, we're going to highlight it and then we're just going to click on import and then we're going to see this photo transfer itself out of my iPhone onto the desktop of my Mac. Let's go ahead and click on the import button. Okay, all right, so now I'm going to go ahead and just close out image capture because it imported the photo directly from my iPhone and then it put it onto my desktop on my Mac. Also, the other thing I wanted to let you know is that once it imports the image from your phone onto your computer, it does not delete the image from your iPhone. Um, that's just how the software works. If you want to go back and delete the photo from your phone, you're more than welcome to or you can leave it on your iPhone. If you have found this video to be useful, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.